For your safety, please ensure to read the full disclaimer located in the description below this video before you start your virtual training. so this will be pretty familiar. So what we're going to do is we're going to step back into a step back lunge position. I want you to squeeze the glute on the back leg and push the hip forward for a nice little stretch in the front of this hip. Then you're simply going to look over the forward leg. From here I'm going to take my forward hand, set that up in the air, palm it to the ceiling, and you can even reach and lean a little tiny bit to give yourself a little bit more of a stretch all the way from the hip going up into uh, the shoulder and even the tricep a little bit. We're going to hold that for just a second. Then we're going to send the hands back, jump that back leg towards the wall behind you. Elbow can go down, touch the floor if you want to, and then that hand comes up and your palm is facing forward. We're going to take the hand on the outside of the foot, push back into a nice little hamstring stretch. From here we're going to switch sides, squeeze the glute, push hips forward, and look over that forward leg again. Nice exhale there. Hand goes up overhead, reaching again, palm towards the ceiling, both hands down, back leg towards the wall behind you, send the elbow down if you need to to feel a stretch, and the hand comes right back up to the ceiling. We're going to go to the outside of the foot, push the hips back into that nice little hamstring stretch. Okay, we're going to repeat that again on the other side. Squeeze the glute, push hips forward, and over again. Sure to keep that glute squeeze. It goes up to the ceiling. Put those hands down, hop the back leg towards the wall behind you. Elbow goes down, exhaling in each position. Other side. Hand goes up. Both hands down. Okay, we're going to go through this one more time. I just want you to kind of flow through it. Hit each position. Make sure you get to that um, uh, relative stretch on each side. Uh, or in each position, pardon me. And then we're going to switch sides. We're going to go through it nice and quick. Just getting into each position. Don't forget to breathe. Next thing we're going to do is a squat to hamstring stretch. Uh, Adi actually did a fairly good video on a version of this stretch uh, last week. Uh, pretty much everything he said about this, uh, about his stretch applies to mine. The position is just a little different. So for mine, instead of putting the hands together, you're just going to reach the hands down towards the feet. So your feet are going to start just outside shoulder width apart. And you're going to allow your elbows, or you're going to use your elbows to push your knees up. From here, you're going to exhale. You know, a nice little hamstring stretch. Again, shoulders back, using those elbows to push out shoulder, the elbow, the uh, knees, pardon me. We're doing this three times. Roll up out. Good. Uh, next thing we're going to do is a squat to an overhead reach. So, same kind of positions we were just doing. We're just going to throw an overhead reach. So, we're going to get nice and low. Again, and all I'm going to do is reach my hands to the ceiling. Exhale as you do that. We're going to do three on each side. As you reach, that hand up, this knee might want to come in. You're going to shove that knee out a little bit. Make sure it doesn't collapse it. I want to stand up. All right, guys, so the next thing we're going to do is a little bit of muscle activation for uh, the upper back. Uh, we tend to see people, you know, depending on your activity level for the last couple of months, uh, we tend to see people, you know, on the computer, at the desk kind of thing, not working out. Shoulders tend to come forward. We're just going to get some of the muscles in the upper back going. Um, so with this drill, uh, in a second, I'm going to get you on the floor, but I just wanted to show you what it looks like when you're standing up. Um, so what you're going to do is uh, 
You are going to take your elbows around a 45 degree angle. So we're not up here, we're not down here, we're somewhere in the middle, maybe airing on the side of uh, higher than lower. But what we don't want to do is crunch the shoulders up by the ears. Generally speaking, the higher the elbows go, uh, the higher the shoulders will go, uh, which is not what we're looking to do. We're trying to keep a relatively nice long neck. And when you're in that position, you're just going to push backward. Some people might be able to get their head off the ground, um, their shoulders right off the ground. Some people not so much, but this is just an activation exercise. We're just going to hold this. Uh, we're going to do five reps and we're going to hold it for three seconds each. Okay, so I'm going to get down on the ground. We're going to do that together here. So I'm in this position right here. I'm going to squeeze, get my shoulders off the ground if I can. Relax, do that four more times. Squeeze, relax, three more times. Squeeze, relax, two more. Squeeze, relax, last one. Squeeze. Awesome. Okay, next thing we're going to do, turn on those glutes a little bit. All we're going to do, if you have a band, you can definitely do this with a band. If you've got a little weight for your hips here, you can do that too, but I'm going to do it unweighted. All you're going to do is push your hips up. Make sure that you push the crease of your hip up as high as you can go and your glutes are squeezed. If your feet are too far away, uh, oftentimes that'll bring the hamstrings in a little bit. So I want your feet right by your butt and you're going to squeeze, push those knees out as well if you can. That usually will get the glutes involved. We're going to do this. Same thing, five reps for three second holds. Three more. Two more. Last one. Awesome. Now that we've got a little warm up going, we are going to get into our workout. So once again, I described uh, kind of the uh, format of the class. What we're going to do is we're going to do three exercises. We're going to do burpees, lunges, and a squat pattern, okay? Uh, there's going to be a couple different levels I'm going to go over for each of those uh, as they come up. Um, but we are going to start out with uh, 15 seconds of work, followed by 45 seconds rest. Uh, after that, we're going to do 20 seconds of work followed by 40 seconds rest, and then for the last round for that exercise, we're going to do 30 work and 30 reps. Uh, so the first one's going to be burpees, we're going to get into that right away. What we're going to start out with is uh, for level one, we are going to do a step back back burpee, okay? So what that's going to look like from the standing position, I'm going to step back into the push-up position, I can drop my knees down if I want to, come back up, it's kind of like a knee push-up, and then this position here, I'm going to step forward, feet come together, and you jump up, okay? Just like that, okay? If I want to get a little bit more aggressive with that, do a little bit faster, I'll go to level two. Uh, what we're going to do is a jump out burpee, okay? That's going to look like this right here. Just like that. I'll leave it up to you whether you want to throw a hand release in there. Uh, that would be totally fine. If you wanted to, kick it up that extra notch. If you want to keep the hands on the ground, that is totally fine. So we're going to start out, we're going to do 15 seconds of work. 45 seconds of rest, okay? So we're gonna start that right away. Next round's gonna be 20 and 40, then the next one is 30 and 30. So we'll start that off in three, two, one, go. Time. Good job, guys. Went a little bit long on you. I apologize for that. I'm sure you won't mind. So I just showed the jumping burpee. Now, because I got a little bit more time on uh, the next round, I think I'm gonna do the step back version uh, just so I can make sure I don't take any breaks. Is that high intensity enough? Maybe I'll uh, mix the two up for my 30 and 30. We have 15 seconds left. Just like that, I'm almost all at a break. All right, so this time we're getting the step back lunge version of the burpee. Three, two, one, go. Keep going, guys. We're halfway there. So 
time. Well done. Keep it up, guys. All right. So we have 30 seconds of rest. So I noticed that step back version, ah, it was a little easier. Certainly still out of breath, but this is high intensity interval training. So in the next one, I'm going to try to do five regular burpees where I jump it out. Then I'm just going to do the rest of the step back version just to make sure I can keep crushing through. All right, we got 10 seconds left. Then we're going to do 30 seconds of work. In three, two, one, and go. So number one, two, three, four, five. All right, I'm gonna step it out. That was 10 seconds for those five burpees. We need 20 more seconds. I think it's good to switch it up every now and again. Which leg is lunging back? One more. Whew. Just like that, that's it for burpees. Good work, guys. Next thing we're gonna do is some lunges. Grab a sip of water, let you and me catch my breath. So one minute, uh, plus the 30 seconds, we've got 90 seconds, already 30 seconds down, let's go into the description of the next exercise. Uh, level one, we are simply going to do a step back lunge, just like that right there. If you're feeling real keen, you can do a jump lunge where you switch legs on every rep. Try to take your knee within an inch of the ground, doesn't need to touch. Couple of breaths. And we got 20 seconds or so until we're starting up with those lunges. First round, again, I'm gonna do the level two stuff, see how that goes. I'm gonna try level one for the second one for 20 seconds, and then I'll probably do a little bit of a mix up of the two in level in uh, my third set with a 30 second interval of the long one. Okay, we start out in three, two, one. Go. Halfway there. And time. Good job, guys. Okay. So, with those jumping lunges, I don't find those so bad. I'm still going to do the level one exercise. And again, on the, on the, the third set, I'll mix between the two of them. So as long as I hit with the jumping lunges and then get into that step back lunge, if I notice my pace is really starting to drop or my technique is really starting to suffer, then I'll go to the easiest exercise. Looks like my hit class is working well because I am still out of breath. Okay, we're gonna go in five, four, three, two, one, let's do it. Step back lunges from where I'm at. If you're nice and confident, you can do that jumping lunge. 10 seconds in, we got 10 seconds left. Five seconds left. And time, good. So again, I noticed I could probably do work a little harder. So jump lunge for maybe the first 15 seconds. Then probably get another step back lunge, but we'll see. Once I notice my pace start to drop, that's when I go back into that easier exercise. Or if I notice I'm wobbling all over the place, then I can definitely go uh, to the step back lunge for the jumping lunge. 15 seconds left. Incidentally, almost halfway through the workout. Once we finish up these lunges, we will. All right, guys, less than 10 seconds. We're gonna go in five, four, three, Two, one, go. Good job, guys, keep it up. Not count for these ones, just feeling it out, seeing how far I can get with the jumping. All right, my knees starting to thump into the ground, 
So I'm gonna step back for the last 10 seconds. Five seconds left. Last rep, good. Well done guys. Extra well done if you're able to last the whole time doing the jumping lunges. I had to knock it off because I felt my knee contact the ground a little hard. No need to beat up my knees doing this. All right, last or second last uh, um, exercise here. We're gonna do some squats, okay? So, nice and simple. Level one, just regular squats. Just like normal, knees push out, chest stays relatively vertical, just like this. When or if you want to go to level two, all we're going to do is jump. We're doing jump squats. Okay, with these jump squats, feet just need to leave the floor. You're not going for maximum effort. You don't need to quite hit the knees kind of above the line that the hip creates. Uh, with the jump squats, I'd rather you try to leave the ground as quickly as possible while still getting maybe a half rep of the squat in there. Make sure you are bending at the knees and the hips. You're not just bouncing up like that, you're not exactly a squat jump. All right, so we start it again with that jump squat for, for the uh, first set, then we'll play it by ear for that 20 second set. We got 10 seconds left. We're getting into those squats. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Just 10 seconds. Five seconds left. All right, good job, guys. Whew, that wasn't too bad. Whew. Definitely trying to go as fast as I could there. I'm going to do, um, I'm going to stick with the jump squats for me. I feel like the intensity was low enough that in 30 seconds, I'll be able to tolerate 20 more seconds of jump squats. But again, if you feel like you start to run out of gas, no shame in getting rid of the jump and just squatting all the way down, standing all the way up. Got about 15 seconds. Whew. 10 seconds. In five, four, three, two, one, and go. Spoke too soon. Whew. That was 22 seconds. I was averaging a breath a second on the last one, so I thought I'd just count to 22. All right, so for this next one, definitely notice myself starts to slow down. As soon as I start to hit that wall in the next set, I can get maybe 15 squats in, and then I'm gonna go, 15 jump squats, pardon me, then I'm gonna go into the air squats. Alright guys, 10 seconds. Starts in. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's do it. Starting to slow down. Let's go back to the squats. 10 seconds. Five seconds left. And time. Woo! Oh, it's uncomfortable. All right. Once again, 30 seconds of rest. Going in to explain the next circuit. We're going to get right into it. Always good to take nice deep breaths in between sets. So you can drop that heart rate a little bit. Let that system recover. Well, we've got the chance to recover. Ooh, less than a minute left. All right, so we've done burpees, lunges, and squats, okay? What we're gonna do for the last one is we're gonna do three sets of 30 seconds each of each exercise, okay? Or of the exercises. So, 30 seconds of burpees, 30 seconds of rest. 
30 seconds jump lunges, 30 seconds rest, 30 seconds squat jumps, 30 seconds, uh, I guess then we're done. Right? 30 seconds you can rest and then we'll be done. All right, so that's gonna happen in 30 seconds. For my exercises, I'm gonna work for the full 30 seconds here. So this is like all the hardest sets, all one, and all, one right after the other. So I might start with the jumping burpees. As soon as I feel like I start to slow down and hit that wall, I go right back into the step back, uh, the step back burpees. Same for the jumping lunges, step back lunges. Same thing for the jumping squats and the regular squats. Okay, Whew. been talking all this time. It's time to go in five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's do it. Starting to slow down, so let's lunge it up for eight seconds. Whew. Just like that, we're done. Whew. Ten jumping plus two step backs. That's all I did. Whew. Those jump lunges are going to be rough. Get Twenty seconds of rest. Whew. Once again, nice deep breath. Whew. Definitely working hard. Guys, five seconds. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Ooh, a little wobbly coming out of the gates. Took me a couple reps to get my feet. That's okay. Eight seconds in. Just like that, I'm stepping back. Chest stays relatively vertical. A little bit dip forward, it's okay. Just don't collapse. Four seconds. Last rep. Whew. Whew. That was rough. Not as bad as the burpees. 25 seconds left to rest. Whew. I'm doing squat jumps, and I'll probably do 10 of those. That'll get into those air squats. It's getting a little rough. 15 more seconds of rest. I'm working hard at least. A little bit of sweat on my brow. All right, jump squats in three, two, one, go. And of those, and I'm slowing down. I will stop moving. So, we need the air squats. Three seconds left. That's time. Well done, guys. Just like that. It's a work portion over. Nice little quick 15 minutes of work. Uh, we are going to kind of just go backwards with a couple of the different exercises. It's a relatively short workout. So we're going to be uh, just taking a relatively short cool down. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to start back. Left leg back, right leg forward, we have lots of lunge patterns, so we're going to make sure to explore this bottom of the uh, end, pardon me, of the range of motion. Pull that forward leg, and then hand up in the air, both hands down, drop that leg, or push that leg out back towards the wall behind you. Drop the elbow down to the floor if you can, arm comes up, and then the outside of the foot, just like that. Two sides. Goes up just like that. Again, drop that elbow down. It comes up to the ceiling, around the outside of the foot. Push those hips back. All right. Okay, we've got a little bit of stretch there. We're gonna stay standing for uh, this next one. Two thumbs up. Squeeze those shoulder blades together, and we're just gonna exhale. Doing that five times total. Just to loosen up those shoulders a little bit as we uh, dropped into them quite a few times with those push ups. It's good to kind of, we're getting all tight up here, restore that balance a little bit. Okay, so to that end, after that drill right there, we're going back to the ground, get back to that thing. Supine, upper back activation drill. So again, shoulders are down. 
push. Two seconds, relax, we're just gonna do three of these. Push. Awesome, doesn't matter if your shoulders don't leave the ground, my back's barely leaving the ground. Awesome, so we've kind of restored a little balance between the two sides. All right, next thing we're gonna do, we're just gonna send the right leg back, uh, right leg back, left leg forward. All I'm gonna get you to do is just rock your chest down, try to turn your rib cage that's facing the floor. Nice exhale in that position. Just getting in that stretch a little bit. You should feel a nice stretch uh, on the uh, bottom leg there. It's part, the part of your leg that's just right up against the ground. Ready, switch sides. Again, that rib cage relatively square to the floor. Couple exhales in that position right there. Awesome. Next thing we're gonna do is loosen up the hamstrings a little bit. This will be our last cool down stretch. So we're just gonna lay flat on the ground. A couple of nice deep breaths in this position. Then what we're gonna do is clasp the hands uh, just on the hamstring there. And you're gonna bring your chin to your chest. You don't need to straighten the knee, just kind of squeeze that quad a little bit, get relatively straight in the leg. Hold that for five seconds. Then you relax for five seconds. It's nice to exhale into that stretch at the top. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale into that stretch at the top. Inhale at the bottom. Do two more. Last breath. Same thing on the other side. A couple of breaths in this position again. All right. Okay, so we're gonna call that the cool down. Uh, thanks for checking out the video. Please uh, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will see you next time. Thanks for checking out this video, and please check out the rest of our online content.